Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Let's get to business. Today we are choosing from your intuitive deck. This is an abstract handmade deck and I want you guys to look at the images that you might see in one of these cards and see what resonates with you the most. And let's go. Pile number one choice. Pile number two. Pile number three. If you need some more time, stop it right here. I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one, people. Here we go. Um, let's see what is up with you the next week. Pile number one. What is going to be important for you the next week? Seven to ten days from now. Mm, too many. Pile one, people. All right. Let's see what we got. So we have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, it seems like you're going to be focused on money moves here. How can I gain more abundance? How can I gain more wealth? What is it that I want to do with my money? Some of you might start thinking about investments. Um, some of you might start thinking how to grow your finances and for others of you I also see a very generous gesture coming from someone and I don't think this message is for many of you though so you gotta feel it through if that's for you or this is for someone else okay pile number one Let me roll down the music a little bit. What is happening the next week? You know what? With this, I feel like someone is trying, someone is having a conversation with someone else saying, listen, um, I feel like, you know, it's, it's great to seek for your goals, for financial freedom, all of that jazz. I'm all in. But with this card over here, what I'm sensing, someone might have a conversation with another person saying, hey, I feel like you are too attached to this specific outcome. I feel like you are so focused on this thing, how much you want to gain, that you're not living your life anymore. Um, you always get lost in your goals and therefore there is no balance of work and play for you. So I'd say be careful with that energy. Be, be focused on what you want, but at the same time, ask yourself, am I living my life? Because I feel like someone might be a bit of a workaholic here. Either this is you or someone else in your surroundings. Okay. I'm also seeing that for some of you, um, mm -hmm. feminine energy in your life, this could be a friend, this could be a mother, this could be a grandmother, this could be your partner, is making you very happy the next week. But someone has insecurities when it comes to finances or income. The, anytime this moon card comes up, I take it as insecurity card in this deck particularly. Um, I don't see things as they actually are. I feel like I am lacking even though if I actually looked at my income, I'm okay. Okay, so someone is having either patience issues here or someone is having self-confidence issues and therefore they don't see themselves as, I want to say impactful, as achieved as they truly are. So this could be a trigger that comes up at one point the next week. And um, whenever it comes up, it comes up as a sign for you to look at this, to dive deeper, to understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. If that is you, because I feel like for some of you might be dealing, dealing with someone else. 
I feel like you're gonna be reunited with um, feminine energy in your life. Um, whoever this person is, they are part of your soul tribe and you know it. You have a very strong connection with this person and it seems like a very beautiful conversation will take place. Mm -hmm. Now, let's clarify the two of cups here, sitting right on top of the sun. For you, I kind of like this energy because it seems like when it comes to relationships, you feel rich the next week. You might have beautiful time with your loved ones. You, I feel like someone is going on a date. You might not know about this, but someone might be going on a date and it's going to go great. And you're going to be like, damn, it's nice to switch things up. And it actually went much better than I thought it would. Yeah, dreams come true, nine of cups. A partnership is making you really, really happy the next week. And it does feel like it's romantic partnership, pile number one. Yeah, because you'll feel very taken care of. You'll feel safe with this person. You'll feel like you are receiving as much as you are investing. Overall, when we talk about career and relationships, investments is a big deal for pile number one the next week. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to be waiting it. You know, how much I put in, how much energy I put into this, how much I'm receiving back. Um, Business-wise, relationship-wise, both. <laughs> Look what flip. Ace of Pentacles is here. Hello. What do you have to say? Why are you here? You are creating a connection the next week that's going to be quite impactful for you, yeah. And you're going to be quite fertile. So those who are not aiming to have kids, you know what to do. Those who want to have kids, the next week it seems to be quite fertile for you. So you might get pregnant or you might be dealing with someone who announces pregnancy the next week. Or I'm also seeing a party a celebration because someone is fertile and someone made it happen this could be for some people who were not able to um yeah who are worried here you go nine of swords who are worried can i make this happen can i not this has been going on for such a long time but it seems like finally something happens and something you can plant and something starts growing in your life yeah, and you're gonna feel quite achieved here with the chariots. You can't wait to see where this journey takes you. The next week, it's time to reap your rewards, okay? Um, good karma. I really sense good karma here. Let's see, death. Why is this death here? I'm hearing with this, um, the waiting time is over. Everything is about to change now for you. Elevation, elevating spiritually, energetically. Waking up. Some of you might do some sort of healing here or therapy. But you're feeling strong in your body, which I love here. You're feeling strong in your body. And I feel with this two of swords here in this spread, it feels like you might even need some time on your own whilst you're going through this. Nothing personal to anyone. You'll just be like, okay, I need some time on my own. Maybe I'm not going to reply to this message. I won't pick up this phone call because I feel like this is right for me at this time. Because you're going to take some time to celebrate your successes here too. Okay, I'm also seeing time with your loved ones, with your children, with your family, with your partners. Um, beautiful vibe actually over here. Someone I'm hearing also is quite impatient to see you or to make something happen. Okay, just saying, just saying. Someone really wants to take a leap with you here. It could be romantic, could be platonic. Um, doesn't matter, but it seems like someone is quite impatient. 
Um, they might even come through with a suggestion or opportunity that might feel out of the blue for you the next week. And I feel like you're going to sign up for it, to be honest. <laughs> I hope this made sense, file number one. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao. Hello, hello, pal number two people. Let's see what is up the next week. Seven to ten days from now. I'm actually being very drawn to this deck right here. It's not in English, so I'm going to translate this for you. What is your focus point the next week? Pile two. What is your focus point for the next week? I feel like for pile two, I want to do a bit of a mashup situation here. From I'm gonna pull from different decks, and then we're gonna read these cards all together. You have death. I don't know why I heard that song in my head. Moving mountains by Usher. You have the Four of Swords. It feels like um, there's gonna be a time for relief after some sort of battle, conflict, or tense period of time. It's finally my time to rest. I can put my feet up. I don't feel as heavy. I don't feel as chaotic. I don't feel as stressed. And you're also stepping into this um, energy of bravery here. Bravery, a uh, clarity of mind. It's interesting because in this card we also have transformation and we have it in with the death card here. Um, you're going for a rebirth. But what I'm being told that you're going to be reborn, re reborn the next week already. So, you know, when you go for re rebirth, I can't fucking speak in this pile. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> here you go. Um, but when you're going for rebirth, there is that time where you're like, oh, you know, but I'm not being shown that time. I'm being shown that you wake up fresh in the morning and you're like, I feel we starting new with um, you waking up with new energy. I'm also seeing DNA. I'm also seeing molecules, but they are new. So something is happening big time here on energetic and physical levels where you feel like a new person the next week. Interesting, hey? Okay. Pile two, where does your focus lie the next week? I'm using the Steampunk Keeper deck. Where does your focus lie? Here, it's interesting because we have something false and in this card we have ability to track something that is fake or ability to point out a lie. I feel like something is going to be revealed to you, especially if you felt mm, dodgy energy about, around you and you're like, I don't feel like this is right or I feel like there is something that I'm not being told or this person is not telling me a complete truth. It's going to be revealed to you the next week. For sure, for sure here. We have two cards talking about this. You're getting clarity about a shady situation. Okay, something that maybe it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It could be that you didn't see how that's going to go for you. You're like, okay, I'm completely in dark over here. What are you focused on now? You're very, uh, some of you might even do a bit of... <laughs> Uh, stalking but it feels like um you're trying to get some info about someone or maybe someone else about you i don't know and therefore you take your time to dive deep to search for that information and you're like that is my mission that's what i gotta do i need to get to the bottom of this okay just saying just saying some of you, maybe you, you wanted to be spies because pile two, you would be, I think, great at this. 
Okay. Great stuff, man. Unexpected reward and abundance twice. Yeah, okay. Which deck are we using for you? Um, Game of Thrones. Let's talk. Let's see what up. What is up here with these cards? Let's talk about something false first. You have the tower. Man, the truth is revealed big time here. Big time. I want to say you are untouchable by bullshit. <laughs> the next week. I'm serious. Untouchable by bullshit. <laughs> You're like, mm, 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 mm. King of Spears, King of Wands, clarifying the tower over here. And it seems like there's going to be that bittersweet energy where you figure something out and you're like, yes, got to the bottom of this. I know what I needed. But at the same time, there is an underlying feeling of a bit like the situation is a bit disappointing. But um, it gives you quite a lot of clarity, though. And you're going to be really grateful for that. I'm also hearing uh, someone say, you better tell me the truth. And it can hurt instead of trying to sugarcoat something for me. Unexpected reward is clarified by the four of coins. I feel like your finances are on point. I feel like you're gaining more. The next week, there's gonna be an opportunity to expand your income. If you have your own business, you're probably gonna be quite busy. There's a wave of financial income coming your way, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you felt this already, that is coming your way. You were not really worried about that. You were like, okay, I got this. Let's see, abundance. Clarified by the Knight of Spears. Someone may come through with a suggestion, advice, or offer that influences your finances. You have the five of swords, but some of you may have to negotiate and I feel like you might not like it. Or maybe the rules that you set or what you need in order to agree with something business-wise, it may not entirely please the other person. And therefore there might be a negotiation taking place because someone is fighting for what they feel like they deserve. And you're like, listen, I'm not going to take less than, okay? Been there, done this. Uh, I'm not at that point in my life anymore. Yeah. Whatever I don't feel like I'm not taking, I don't feel like it's for me, I'm not taking it. I'm okay. I better sit at that tree. <laughs> okay. What is your advice, pile number two? What is your advice? Uh, make sure you don't burn out. Give yourself enough sleep. Before making important decisions, take time for contemplation, reflection. Don't have to rush, okay? Don't have to rush before starting something new. Ace of Cups. What is this about? What is this about? Chariot. I'm also hearing someone is winning over, over someone else's heart. I'm jumping from scenario to scenario, so you're going to have to be discerning of what is yours and what's not. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Someone has a hard on for you, man. <laughs> wow, wow, we were. Okay, love that for you. Maybe you have a hard on for someone. I don't know. I don't know. You know what song rang in my head? I hate that I love you. Bye. Bye. What is this? hot as guy's name okay wait hate that i love you by jonathan roy um for my ladies out there please enjoy the video <laughs> okay. listen that's the vibe that's the vibe um why i thought about the song because at one point with this ace of spears which sometimes i see like a you know hard on a dick card um at one point in his lyrics he goes um, I hate that I love you, blah, blah, blah. And he goes something along the lines of, I don't know why I'm, why I'm still aroused, you know? And that's what I, I was like, okay, this is the song for pal two. 
get it, <laughs> okay? Get it. Some of you just might feel a little bit more sexual or you might seek for um, expression of your sexuality the next week because I feel like um, there is something that changes the next week when it comes to intimacy. You may feel like you want to dominate regardless of your sex. You may feel like you want to experience new things. Uh, but overall, what's important here that you want to be the one who is pursuing. Even if you're a woman, I feel like you will want to pursue a man, but um, he will be pursued by that time anyways. But, um, or she. <laughs> but the thing is, it's the bedroom situation where you are the one who literally can even see you're going at it, man. You're actually going at it. So great stuff. I'm saying great because you're going to love this. I see the energy here. Okay. You're going to love this. And you're going to text someone about that. You're going to be like, girlfriend, mm, that was great. All my chakras are balanced with a temperance card now. Okay. But just be careful who you're sending messages to. Okay. Just saying. Just saying. And I feel like one of these people, um, let me start thinking about or they already are actually, about life together in the future, but they're jumping way ahead of themselves. Because I feel like whatever this is, this is fresh, this is new, this is that, you know, exciting period where we're still exploring that kind of vibe. Magician, yeah, you'll want to manifest that, or they will, or they will, I don't know. I don't know, the Ten of Fucking Cups is here. Let me tell you. Whatever that, you know, sexuationship is, it seems like it puts someone... It's interesting because it was very sexual and it's like I'm literally seeing someone just focused on the, on the goal, what they want to achieve that night. Not as much at the beginning, not as much on emotions. But after that night, or that date, maybe it's not going to be full on, I don't know. Someone starts thinking about this from a bit of a different perspective where their feelings get involved. Where at first they didn't think that they would. Pal 2, if you're already going through this, <laughs> can you comment a little story for me? <laughs> Interesting to hear. Okay. This is great stuff. Love that for you. You're living your best life. Yeah, definitely. After that encounter, a massive transformation happens. Damn. Justice is here. As if something was meant to be pre-planned for you. To win something, to get something or someone, to achieve, to conquer. That is the vibe. To achieve and to conquer. Damn, pile number two. Okay, it seems like you're going to have a, an interesting week. Okay, just saying. Whoever needs longer readings or extra content, I'll see you on Patreon. For the rest of you, have a banging week. <laughs> Bye for now. Hello, pile three people. Let's see what up with you all the next week. Which cards are we using for you? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm looking at the magic of your oracle. Let's take that one. I don't know what this means to someone, but I'm seeing an old couple, uh, very cute, um, holding hands, walking in a park. I'm also seeing someone getting a pet or taking care of their pet. Not that you don't, but there might be like a important situation that happens, event connected to your pet. We have serendipity, merge with the flow. We have Maximus. How can you feed others when your own table is empty? Okay. The deck that we're going to be using is going to be Super Lunaris. 
And let's see what up the next week for you all. Let's first of all clarify these two oracle cards that I have pulled. Okay. Merge with the flow. With the Ten of Wands on top of this card, I feel like um, there is a hint telling you that there is not much left to go. As if someone is struggling with something. No, I don't want to see you struggling. I feel like you know that you have to be focused, you have to pull through, you have to get shit done. But you're waiting for when it's going to end, when your burdens will be lighter, when responsibilities will be less, not as heavy, not as tense. Because I'm feeling a tense body. Um, and it feels like the next week you're able to come back with a more natural, organic flow for you. Okay, where you're not feeling as overwhelmed. Someone is also stepping into love here. Let's see. Um, there might be um, a situation where someone wants to help you out. Someone might be visiting you or asking you to go somewhere with them. I'm hearing, put your feet up, to put your feet up. Someone cares about you deeply the next week, about your well-being. They'll want to help you out with difficult things, something that is hard to do, something that they can help with. Let's look at Maximus. We got the Magician and we got the Empress. Okay, guys, you have very strong energy about you overall in life, okay? But sometimes you tend to waste it on things that are not your priorities. So be careful with your priorities the next week. Just saying. You want to mother, father, everyone. You want to take care of everyone. But at the end of the day, you come back home, drop dead in bed, literally, and you're empty. Okay, so that is not a good situation. The next week you're going to be shown that or next week you're changing the course. Okay, you're changing behavior. Cool. Okay, let's see. Where does your focus lie the next week? And I'm going to be using the Steampunk Keeper deck. Where will your focus lie the next week? Good news, nice. Okay, if you're waiting for important message, it's gonna be a positive outcome. What are you focused on the next week? You, for a lot of you, I'm also hearing you might be delivering good news to someone. I feel like it might be connected to a work situation though. Yearning abroad. Yeah, definitely. Someone is planning a trip, they're going away, they feel like they can put their feet up, they feel like it's time for them to explore. Um, you're worth it, I'm hearing. Someone is telling you that. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to relax. Just relax and merge with the flow. You've given, given so much for everyone. I also feel like good karma could be coming your way here. Yeah, strength. You're strong for everyone around you. You know this. The Empress is here again. I have two different Empress's cards, if you notice in this deck. And we have the Five of Wands. Oop. Cards want to fly all over the place. Three of Cups. Nice. I really feel like there is a celebration that takes place the next week. An important event or just a get together and you're gonna have a great time. You stepping into your feminine energy a bit more, you're honoring it a bit more than before. I also feel like a lot of you, since you are in that feminine energy, I feel like either someone predicted something for you and it didn't happen just yet it's gonna happen the next um, seven or ten days from now or you have tried to predict something for yourself and it's gonna be coming true now the next week and you're gonna see it you're gonna be like i knew it i knew it it's happening 
And there is a lot of excitement here for the next week. Clarify the five of wands, please. Um, there might be a situation here connected to your travel or plans or documents connected to plan to your travel, whatever this is. Um, you might have to work a little bit harder for this only because I'm seeing that something has to be done that maybe you didn't think about or there might be, I don't feel like it's going to be a delay, but maybe what you thought is going to be like, it might be a little bit different and therefore you're going to start taking action to change something around or to get what you wanted initially. Okay, I'm also hearing a bit of a waiting game. I'm also seeing someone having a conversation with um, someone who you call a friend and they open your eyes to so many things, all the possibilities I'm hearing. Great time, great advice, great friend, someone who's really caring. You might be also dealing with someone, um, the opposite sex uh, specifically, uh, someone who is very grounded in their ways. And other people describe them as very like um, honest and caring. But it's because they didn't try to talk on deeper subjects with them. And I feel like whenever you want to talk to them on deeper level, they might kind of freak out and put a wall up in a very like um, subtle way. Why though? Why is this person putting a wall up here? They trust you, whoever this is. It's their thing. It's their thing. Because I'm hearing they haven't figured something out themselves just yet within themselves. So they don't want to talk before they know everything. And they also have big plans, big dreams, and they are not one of those people who talk a lot before making moves. They would probably talk about their dream or wish or goal once they're already in it, once they already achieved quite a lot or at least went halfway but i feel like sooner or later this person shares their goals or dreams with you what they're planning to do what about this journey that we need to know someone is saving money or someone is getting support in order for this physical or even emotional movement to take place I want to say for pile three, someone really wants to invest in you the next week. To give to you, to give back, to help you out with a move. I'm also hearing farewell. I care about you. If you need something, call me. And someone is really excited for this wand here. Sounds not in Five of Cups. It's like someone is not being stopped from what they want initially. Um, they're saying, I better try this and get disappointed than not try at all. So you might be trying to experience something new, something that is untouched for you the next week. And all you care about is just to see how it goes. I better do this, then regret it. Here you go. Afterwards and keep thinking about it off and on again and again. Yeah, because um, experiencing that with a fool and chariot on top would give you freedom. And you know this. 
I feel like you're making big plans or important moves in your life the next week. This might not make sense um, to you just yet, and it's okay, because I feel like for some of you, it may come through quite quickly, and you start like, oh my God, I feel like this is great. That would be amazing for me. Like a light bulb moment I'm seeing here, even though we don't have the Ace of Swords, but that's the energy that I'm sensing here. You are curious, you wanna see where life takes you, you wanna learn about new things, you are very nosy, but in the best way possible. And I feel like that nosiness is gonna bring what you're looking for. So if you need extra content or longer reads, I'll see you on Patreon Tribe. I hope this was useful or beneficial. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.